Hello everyone. Here is another video with OrgTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about acid and base in organic chemistry and how we can find the relative acidity in organic molecules based on their structure. There are different parameters can change acidity or basicity of the molecule. The first one is type of atoms. In periodic table, from left to right, acidity increases. Also, from top to the bottom in each group, acidity again increases. For example, we know that ammonia is a base, water is a neutral molecule, and HF is acid. This is exactly based on this trend. From left to right in periodic table, we have more acidic compound. So this effect, it's the same in organic chemistry and in organic molecule. For example, let's compare these two molecules, propane and ethanol. Here we have OH and here we have CH. Based on this trend, oxygen, it has more acidity. So this compound ethanol, it should be more acidic. But if we compare ethanol to ethanol, as we see here, sulfur is more acidic comparing to the oxygen in similar structure. So because we have here SH and here we have OH, so the molecule with SH functional group, it is more acidic. It is same with nitrogen and phosphorus. So if we have NH2 or if we have PH2, the one with phosphorus, it's more acidic. Being a strong acid, it means the conjugate base, A negative, should be more stable. So a stronger acid, more stable conjugate base. We can also discuss the first effect based on this. If we have a propane and ethanol, their conjugate base after the protonation of this molecule are these anions. The second anion, this anion, it is more stable. The reason is negative charge, it is on more electronegative atom. And it's better to have negative charge on more electronegative atom. So this anion is more stable as a result, this molecule is more acidic. This is the first parameter in acidity of molecule. Let's discuss the second one. Here is a second effect in acidity of molecule, inductive effect. Inductive effect is effect of electronegative groups in acidity of molecule. Let's talk about these two molecules, ethanol and 2-fluoroethanol. After deprotonation of these alcohols to see their conjugate base, this is the conjugate base for ethanol, and this is conjugate base for 2-fluoroethanol. Here we have negative charge on oxygen, which is not bad, but here we have negative charge on oxygen, also fluorine as an electronegative group pulling electron to itself and help oxygen to holding negative charge on itself. So here in second anion, oxygen has a help. The fluorine atom help oxygen to holding negative charge. So anion with fluorine is more stable. As a result, this molecule is more acidic. If we have two fluorine instead of one, of course, the acidity of molecule increases. So more electronegative group, or we call it electron 
withdrawing group. It means more acidity in molecule. In addition of number of electronegative group or electron withdrawing group, we have other factors for inductive effect. Let's discuss some of them here. Let's take a look to this example. We have fluorine here and we have fluorine here. After deprotonation, both of these alcohol losing their proton and they become negative. These two anions, both of them, they have negative charge on oxygen and both of them, they have one electron with the ring group, a fluorine atom on their structure. Here, fluorine atom is closer to the negative oxygen, so it can help more for pulling electron to itself, comparing this fluorine. So this anion is more stable. As a result, this alcohol is more acidic than this alcohol. We may also have different electron with the ring group. Like, let's say, instead of fluorine, here I have chlorine and here I have bromine. Both of these two compounds, they have one electron with the ring group, but their electron with the ring group are different. After deprotonation, we have negative charge on both of these oxygen. The distance of chlorine and bromine are the same, but chlorine is more electron negative group comparing to the bromines. Because from top to the bottom in periodic table, electron negativity is decreasing. So chlorine is more electron negative, so it has more attractions. So it's more helpful for negative oxygen comparing to the bromine atom. So this anion is more stable. As a result, this alcohol is more acidic comparing to this alcohol. The third parameter is resonance. Resonance is most important parameter in acidity. Let's see what is the effect of resonance in acidity of molecules. Let's compare again an ethanol and an acetic acid. We would like to compare the acidity of these two molecules. So for discussing, again, we need to deprotonate these two compounds to study their anion. Looking to this anion, we may say that the second one has one oxygen. Oxygen is also an electron with the ring group. It's electronegative. So this anion should be more stable and the compound should be more acidic, which is not wrong. But inductive effect is not comparable to resonance effect. Resonance has a huge effect on acidity of molecule. The main reason that this anion is more stable is this anion has a resonance form. So this anion has two resonance form and this anion has only one resonance form. We know that more resonance form is more stable compound or ions. So as a result, this compound is less acidic than acetic acid. And the main reason is resonance, not the inductive effect of second oxygen. Here is another example for resonance effect. So after deprotonation, we have negative charge on these two oxygen. Well, this negative oxygen, this anion, doesn't have any double bond to make resonance form. So it has only one form. But this one, so the name for this anion is phenoxide. It has five resonance form. This negative oxygen can make resonance with this benzene ring. So the negative charge comes here and push this bond here. This is one resonance form. And if we keep continuing to writing resonance form with the other double bond, we will see that there are five resonance form. As a result, this anion it's more stable, a lot more stable because of five resonance form. And 
This is cause more acidity in the left compound, phenol, comparing to the cyclohexanol on the right side. Here is another example for resonance. We want to see which one is more acidic. Again, we need to deprotonate the compounds, put negative charge, and then we see this anion on the left side, negative nitrogen doesn't have any resonance. And this one on the right side, it has resonance with this C double bond or the carbonyl group. And here is the other resonance form for this anion. So we have two resonance forms for the right side and we have only one structure for the left side. Because of that, this anion is more stable and as a result, this compound is less acidic than this compound. And the last parameter is types of orbital. Types of orbital also can change the acidity of molecule. When we have different hybridization for atoms, we have different acidity. Let's see why. SP orbital has 50% S and 50% P orbital. SP2, it has 33% S orbital. And SP3, it has 25%. So one out of four orbital is S. S orbital in each shell or layer in atom is a smaller comparing to the P orbital and it is closer to the nucleus. So it has more electronegativity and more inductive effect. So in general, SP orbital, it's more electronegative or it has more inductive effect comparing to SP2 and SP2 is better than SP3. So when we have molecule with different hybridization, like if I have CH3, C triple bond CH, and I have CH3, CH, CH2. By removing hydrogen from left side, we have this anion. And by removing one hydrogen or deprotonation of this compound, we have a negative charge here. Here we have negative charge on an sp orbital. And here we have a negative charge on sp2 orbital. SP orbital, it has more electronegativity. So this anion is more stable comparing that anion with double bond. And as a result, this compound is more acidic comparing to this compound. Now we know all these factors in acidity of molecule. I would like to mention that for basic property, everything is reverse so if you have resonance it causes less basic property if you have more electronegative atom it has less basic property let's have a series of examples for both acidic and basic property in organic molecule here is the first example i would like to know which one is more acidic in these two molecules everything are the same the only thing is different is we have nitrogen in one molecule and oxygen in another one. So if we want to deprotonate this hydrogen, we actually have the first effect in acidity. In general, oxygen is more acidic comparing to the nitrogen. So this compound should be more acidic. Here is the next example. We would like to see which one of this compound is more basic. So everything is same, only hybridization for nitrogen atom is different. So because we want to discuss basic property, we need to take a look to nitrogen with lone pair. Nitrogen in this compound, it is sp3, and in this compound, it is sp2. So we know sp2, is more electronegative than sp3. It is good for acidity, but for basicity, it's opposite. 
so this compound is more basic and the reason is when we have more electronegativity on our atom this lone pair stick harder to the atom and they're not willing to react with acid comparing to the first compound this nitrogen has less electronegativity and this lone pair is easier to leave nitrogen atom and react with acid so all those four effects are completely reverse for basic property we can also discuss the acidity and then we know the acidity and basicity are opposite so we can say that this nitrogen with sp2 is more acidic because it's more acidic so it is less basic comparing to this compound here is the next example we would like to see which compound is more basic the lone pair in this nitrogen is just a stay on nitrogen atom but the lone pair in this nitrogen it can go through different resonance form with this benzene ring so this molecule has five resonance form so the lone pair is not staying on nitrogen so it's harder for nitrogen to attack when it doesn't have lone pair the whole time so this molecule with benzene ring is less basic or we can discuss about the basic property using the acidic property if we remove hydrogens and have an anion here the anion is more stable because it can go through the resonance form with benzene ring so this anion is more stable so this compound is more acidic then we can say that this compound is less acidic or we can say is more basic and here is the last example i would like to know which of these hydrogen blue or green they are more acidic well i need to draw two different anion one time i deprotonate the molecule by removing blue hydrogen so i will have an anion on this carbon and if i deprotonate molecule by removing the green hydrogen then i have this anion let's compare the stability of this anion we can say that the negative charge on second one it is between two electronegative group and here it's only adjacent to one electronegative group oxygen atom but again resonance form it has a huge effect so it's better to discuss it from resonance point of view this anion can make a resonance form and convert to this anion by pushing this double bond to the oxygen so this anion has two resonance form but the anion from green hydrogen it can have resonance form with the left double bond also it has resonance with the right double bonds then this anion has three resonance form so removing green hydrogen cause an anion with three resonance form and removing of blue hydrogen form an anion it has only two resonance form so anion with three resonance form is more stable so this green hydrogen it is more acidic and it has lower pKa value. Thank you for watching this video. To watching more video, you may want to subscribe to this channel.